We'll get right into the show in just a minute, but first, most of the time, I don't recommend that anybody listen to any podcast except The Brad Johnson Show, because, let's just be honest, most podcasts out there are hashtag loserly to the extreme. But I have recently found and discovered and come across and uh, discovered some other podcasts that are not that loserly. They are actually pretty winnerly, and I want to introduce you to them in their own words right here. If you're a fan of the 2003 Fox sitcom Arrested Development, you'll love this podcast. He's fine. I'll be in the hospital bar. Uh, you know, there isn't a hospital bar, Mother. This is why people hate hospitals. Hosted by Joseph Aguirre and Eden Fritz Aguirre, two big fans. I'm looking for something that says, Dad likes leather. Something that says, Leather Daddy? Oh, is there such a thing? Recently recognized as one of the best indie podcasts to listen to while quarantined by Invicta Enterprises. That's why you always leave a note. Well, it's all gone down, Dad. There's $250,000 lining the walls of the banana stand. Why didn't you tell me that? How much clearer can I say there's always money in the banana stand? No touching! No touching! It's the Banana Stand Podcast. A CMG podcast. The harder we work, the luckier we get. Hey, Joseph. Oh, hey, Chris. Have you heard about cartoons? Um, well, yeah. Great! Then you're going to love this podcast all about cartoons, anime, and the animation industry called Saturday Morning Cartoon Boom. Uh, yeah, we host that show together. Each episode of the podcast highlights a cartoon, anime, or animated movie chosen by the listeners, packed with fun, nostalgia, and tons of laughs. Seriously, dude, can you be normal for a sec? Here's a few clips from our recent episodes. Arlene Klasky, one of the creators, stated for the longest time that she hated Angel. Yo, I'm gonna join the Navy. See ya. Uncle Scrooge doesn't want him either. I'm like, they're so close to going into the system. Something you learn pretty quick about Saitama is he's not a patient man because everyone goes on these yes. long expositions and he's just like, come on, hurry up. Saturday Morning Cartoon Boom is the highest rated animation podcast on Apple Podcasts. Why are you explaining your own show to me? You can find Saturday Morning Cartoon Boom on Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Why are you doing this? Okay, it? see you next Saturday, Joseph. Mindset. What is it? What does it look like? What does it feel like? These questions and a whole lot more are going to be addressed on today's sneak peek of the Brad Johnson Show course. Hit it, James. The Brad Johnson Show. I'm turning losers like you into winners like me. You're about to enter the winning zone. Hey, guys. Hey. How you doing? So glad to have you here on the this episode. Um, we are giving another sneak peek of the Brad Johnson Show course, and this is the sixth sneak peek that we've done. Um, so at some point, it stops becoming a peek and becomes more like a, a longing gaze. And when that happens, you know that it's time for you to click on the show notes and go buy the course because there's video and there's like 10 episodes of the course, not episodes, they're, they're uh, modules of the course where you're going to learn everything that you need to know about how to be a winner like me. Uh, I can't teach you all of that you need to know in just these sneak peeks. So go get it. It's over four hours of video content that you can just enjoy uh, to the fullest and learn a lot as well, uh, probably depending on your learning style uh, and all that sort of thing. So go check it out. Click the button down below. Get the course. But in the meantime, listen to the sneak peek of the Brad Johnson Show course. This is the Brad Johnson Show course. Giving you the keys to success. Win more, lose less. And now, Brad Johnson. And welcome back to the Brad Johnson Show course. I am Brad Johnson. As always, of course, as you know, this is James Kirkland, the assistant to the host. That is me. We are here... We are here, uh, I am here specifically, more specifically, to teach you about things that you don't know, but that you can know because you're taking this course. So I'll teach you these things that you need to know. And uh, as you can see, we're sitting here on my uh, Boca de Lobo couch here. Very comfortable, very cozy. Although, I've been I've been talking to, don't hit it, my animal. I've been talking to the people over there at uh, Boca de Lobo because, man, <laughs> it's just so uncomfortable with my wallet. And I'm, when I sit down on it, it's like, there's just so much money in it, you know. And, um, so I've been talking to him about actually making a cushion with a little cutout for the wallet. I mean, it's just one of my mm. innovation ideas that are always just popping into my head. I like that. Uh, yeah, anyway. 
So uh, today we are getting into number six, the sixth key that is going to get you through that door to success. So remember we talked about the first key, then we talked about the uh, second one, then we went on to the third one, and then we talked about the... Um, uh, the one that came after yeah, that, and then that there was the, uh, the next one, and now we're at this one. So this is the sixth key. So you've made your way down. You're over halfway through. The door to success is getting close to being open. So I'm so that's why I'm so excited about this episode because we're past the halfway point. It's all downhill from here. Believe me, folks. Yep. All right. Sure is. Keys to success number six. This is called win your mindset. Now, like I said um, at the close of the last video, this I almost started with this one because mindset is so important. Um, it's it's where you set your mind. Are you setting it like on something sharp and prickly or a nice Boca de Lobo couch mm. that is actually going to cradle you in the ways that you need to be cradled, especially your mind because our minds are very delicate, most people think. Yeah, most people's minds are yeah. pretty delicate. And mm. the thing is about mindset is it does take a lot of energy and a lot of willpower. Yeah. And so that's why it's later on in the course. Now that you've you've taken those those previous keys, you can now take this one and actually be able to manage it. Yeah, you've got you've got uh, just that that foundation basically. So keys one through five giving you a foundation. And in yeah, now that we have that foundation, we can build the mindset on top of it. So I, I'm hoping that you started this mindset with, uh, you know, I, I want to win. But you probably have gotten to step number five here and been like, wow, I can't. Brad is just so amazing. How could I ever be like him? And if that's what you're thinking right now, I totally understand, okay? Um, because I've been there. That's I've, how most people feel. Yeah, I've been there looking in the mirror at myself and be like, how can I be this awesome? And, uh, you know, it's just, it was my mindset that pulled me through that hard time. So that's what I'm going to impart to you today. Just some nuggets of, of, of golden wisdom and also some nougats of golden wisdom. Now, I, mm. I think those are, those are often better. overlooked. Yeah, yeah, those are even better. <laughs> they are sweet. They're delicious. They're kind of chewy. Mm. Um, nuggets, you know, are also good, but you need some barbecue sauce with them. Neither so, one is great for your teeth, but... You well, that's why you good value. always brush afterwards, kids. All right. <laughs> okay. So let's get into this. Um, I, I love just diving into mindset because there's, there's so much to it. And uh, if we have time today, we're going to get into a session where we're going to talk about drawing your dreams, which <laughs> so excited about that. Um, yeah, James actually surprisingly has some artistic talent, which I, I had no idea when we were working together for at least a year and I had no clue. So, um, Try to be you humble. definitely wouldn't know by looking at him, but, uh, so we're going to get into that later on, but right now let's talk about mindset. So there is, um, something about our, our thoughts and our emotions that sculpt the world around us in ways that we don't even understand. I like to say that, um, if you harness your thoughts, you could, uh, it's like a mule train, basically your, your thoughts are this big mule train going through the desert and you put a harness on them and then you hook up whatever you need to move across the desert and your thoughts can do it for you. Hmm. So your thoughts really are the, the driving force behind anything yeah. and your attitude is what affects those. Yes. So the, the thoughts affect things in the world. Like um, every single atom, like every single one are affected by your thoughts. Um, you, you could... You create your future through your thoughts, and that's I, don't, I think people don't realize mm. the power that is inherent there. So, so speaking so, of power, how do you how do you draw power into your mind to make this possible? Well, and a lot of that has to do with getting a course like this, honestly, mm. and and having me input power into your uh, brain through my words. But I just want people to realize the power of thoughts. That literally, you can collapse space and time by using mm. your thoughts and emotions. To create our future and our reality, hmm. which well, just blows my mind. Isn't it? Isn't it also true that just so many of the diseases and afflictions and problems people face today are basically just a mindset problem? Exactly. Like, like you know, cancer and Parkinson's disease yeah. and um, even the amputees. common cold, amputees. It's yeah. all a mindset problem. Where Completely. They're only suffering because they've chosen to. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that is so true. And uh, it, it's maybe not a conscious choice. I don't want to get negative on these people that are having these, these struggles and stuff. But basically, you've got to get your mindset right so you can get these other things right. So um, let's just jump right into this here. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, your thoughts 
are things that happen in your brain that you think, whether consciously or unconsciously. Now, let's talk about the unconscious side of things because I think that's where people really miss out is because if you're letting your thoughts be unconscious, then they're not conscious by definition. Hmm. So what do you think is the best way to render yourself unconscious? Some people, Most people would say sleep, but are there other methods of, of becoming unconscious? I'm glad you brought up sleep because that is a really good way to change your brain chemistry. Science has proven actually that when you're sleeping, your brain actually just kind of like mushes around because the the gravity of you laying back versus sitting up or standing up like normal Mm. actually moves the brain in different ways um, which impacts your thoughts because that's where the thoughts are is right Mm. there so i thought for this um i know so much about this it's almost kind of hard for me to talk about it because there's just so much information inside my head and i have all these thoughts and stuff so Mm. james why don't you ask me some questions as the resident guru on this topic and we'll kind of i'll kind of answer them in my guru way all right uh so the first one i have written down here is how does someone feel worthy when they've always been told that they're not hmm um, well, I think you might want to reassess your priorities there. If you've always been told that you're not worthy, chances are there's a reason. That's an unpopular opinion, True. but it's just, yeah, you know, if, if that keeps coming up, you got to wonder why. Not saying mm-hmm. it can't change. Not saying it can't change. It, it totally think about might it. be able to possibly. But yeah, next question. <clears throat> um, as, as far as the, the scientific side of this, um, what... In what ways can you use quantum physics to accomplish your dreams? Mm, I love quantum physics. I totally... Um, that's one of my big passions, honestly. Uh, mm. Something a lot of people don't know about me. It's so entrepreneurial. They're like, wow, how does he have time for other stuff besides all the businesses and mm. products and stuff like that? And That's just I do. Um, so quantum physics is something that I've really been deep diving into and diving deep into. Right. Um, so using that to transform your mind mm-hmm. is pretty simple. The okay. process, um, you would think with just the word quantum physics that it might be hard. It's really not. Basically, all you need to do is just realize the chemical neural impact ways that happen through your brain mm-hmm. and manipulate those in such a way as to change your habits, your mindset, and beliefs to impact your attitudes, which will impact the actions that you take and the, and then the outputs that you get from those actions. And that's how your dreams are realized. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. It's kind of it's the blood brain barrier, uh, where if mm. you are able to break through that, you will your dreams will just come out of your brain, and mm. that's where they manifest into the world. Mm. And then it returns that energy into the world that you've stored up in your mind. Uh, no. So it, it all the energy still is yes. inside of you. You gotta keep the energy dreams. in you. Yeah. Wow. Because wow. you so won't have a you won't have the ability to live out your dreams if you don't let the energy continue within you. So you're constantly accumulating the energy. Yes, and it's more energy released. all the time. Wow. Yes. Wonderful. Right. Next um, question. About what what is the scientific evidence that backs up um, a lot of your your theories about quantum physics well, and how you can affect the energy of of predicting um, how your um, your success is going to be based on your mindset. Well, I like when people challenge uh, my science behind this because I don't think it's enough to take somebody at their word. Um, you, you should definitely dive in to the science behind things. And that's the nice thing about you know preaching something like this where you can literally change the world just through thinking things mm. um, is science does back it up. So mm. we have proof of that through many scientific studies that it's I could get into. so good to hear. Yeah, we don't really have time right now. Um, but basically, your body is affected by your mind and science proves that through of course. the experiments that they've done. I mean, it keeps to, your heart beating. Yeah, it does so many things that it obviously affects your, your body. Um, and so your body is what you interact with the world with. Mm. Therefore, brain, body, world. Mm. So by extension, well, the science just makes sense. Exactly. Exactly. So, and, and we, we've seen this so many times. You have hear about people living in the past. Mm. That literally can happen. People can time travel. So the next question I have written down here is... Which is more powerful, our thoughts or our emotions? Hmm. Um, I think that's a trick question because thoughts mm. become emotions. Emotions become thoughts through the mm. cycle 
of neuropath. Wow. That is, that is some deep stuff. I think a lot of people probably that, that totally went over your head, which is fine because you know, that's, <laughs> that happens a lot when I talk, it just completely goes over people's head. So I would definitely recommend that you go get the rest of that episode because I think we get into way more of the practical side of things that you will need to change your mindset because mindset is so important. That's what I always say. Mindset is so important. So do it, go get the course, check it out, people. It'll help keep us on the air because we're getting close to the end of the third season here. And, um, you know, it's going to take some significant investment on your part. I've invested almost 150 episodes in this show. So I want to, I want to hear back from you guys. I want to have some investment back from you guys. The best way to do that is to buy the course or to go to uh, anchor.fm slash Brad dash Johnson dash show and click on support this podcast. If you do that, we're going to be bringing you tons more content, tons more awesomeness of my awesomeness. And, you know, I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, we're going to be doing a burning episode question uh, episode here soon. And we definitely want to hear from you. So that's Brad Johnson show on all the social mediums and also Brad Johnson show at gmail.com. All right, guys, we'll talk to you next time. Ciao. You've just listened to an episode of awesomeness. Now go out and spread the awesomeness and help others fix the mess that is their life and help them stop being a loser and start winning in business, health, and their personal life by getting them to listen to the Brad Johnson Show. Book your face, tweet your tweets, and Instagrams your grams at Brad Johnson Show. The Brad Johnson Show. Winners only. When I was in school, I absolutely hated writing. It wasn't until I was a bit older that I came to understand the power of words. If you're a business owner, you understand that power too. A business blog, when done right, can drive sales, increase revenue, and get you more customers. But as a business owner, you probably don't have the time to do all that writing. Plus, if you're not a copywriter by trade, you might feel like you're just kind of throwing words out there and they're not actually accomplishing anything. The good news is, there's a simple solution. Check it out. I call it the ultimate blog post checklist for businesses with online stores. This checklist will allow you to write better, more effective articles that convert readers into buyers. It's full of easy to follow examples to get your creativity flowing based on experience of nearly a million words written. And best of all, it's effective on any type of article in any industry or niche. I've successfully used this exact checklist on topics from pool table reviews to investment advice. Tired of spending tons of time writing stuff that doesn't convert? This checklist will change that by giving you highly effective blog posts and articles that transform readers into paying customers. Go to invicta.enterprises slash free checklist and start saving time and transforming your writing now. That's invicta.enterprises slash free checklist.